Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Mani Mehrai and today I'm going to show you how to deal with activity number 7 of CNG 100. To deal with that, we should know about transitions and animations. They are useful because we need some techniques in order to get the attention of the audience whenever we are presenting our projects. So let's start with transitions. You can apply sound effects on your slides. You can choose any of them and practice to see uh, each sound effect correspond to uh, which effect exactly. So let's say, for example, click. And uh, you can also change the duration of that. For example, three or three seconds, it will apply. And you can apply it to all of the slides. You can also mention exact after reaching each slide, how much should I wait until I uh, start to play my sound effects. For animations, you can select the part of the text that you want to apply the animation. Let's say, for example, for this one, I choose split. For the next one, I choose flying. And as soon as I choose them, you can see they are numbered. Number one, the first animation. Number two, the second one. And whenever I regret I want to delete them, just click on them and press delete on your keyboard. And you see, whenever I apply such animations, there will be stars appearing beside my slide. For example, the other slides don't have a star. But for this one that we have a star, then it shows that this one has some or one animation. All right, so when you want to see about the changes that you made for animation and transitions, you should press F5 on your keyboard or just simply go to your slideshow and start from the beginning so that you can see the changes that you made. So let's press F5, you see you heard the click. And as soon as I press space, I can see the rest of my text in the slide. And uh, there are some tools that we can use. Down below, you can see there are some options. Click on the third one. You see I can have a laser so that by moving my mouse, I can uh, let the audience know from part of the text I'm interested to show the detail, for example. And you can choose a pen in order to draw on it. Or, for example, specify like I'm looking for this word. Or you can even erase the whole thing, the whole changes that you applied here. And you can even highlight a word. You see, today was basically about the special effects that we can have on our slide in order to get the attention of the audience and make them to notice about some part of the slides, to focus on them, to concentrate on them more than the other part of your slide. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later.